what's up you guys welcome back to my channel this is a video that I'm really honestly so excited to be filming and the reason why is because it's my skincare routine I actually have a lot of you guys that reach out to me who ask what my skincare routine is which is already just a compliment in itself let's get into it I feel like I should mention this is what my skin looks like without makeup right now no filter um, I have this like pimple right here that's like so gross because I don't know I get it like every other month in the same spot and it's always awful so you know whatever love that the first thing that I do in the morning is I use a micellar water I think the Garnier skin active does just the right job there's tons of micellar waters out there ranging from five dollars to probably like what like twenty dollars probably even more I think that this is cheap and it's effective and it does what you want so I just take like a cotton pad and I'll wipe my face in the morning. I don't like washing my face in the morning because it's just, it's too much for my skin. Um, so I stick to something really gentle like that. And then I will moisturize. Now this is a moisturizer that's been very, very popular lately. This is CeraVe's Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Now, when I was really, really, really struggling with acne as like a teenager, I had tried a bunch of CeraVe, a bunch of Cetaphil, but I actually, I never tried this CeraVe moisturizer because I would usually pick stuff that was like targeted towards like acne. Um, and I had literally never tried this one until it blew up recently, um, thanks to Skincare by Hiram. And I love it. It literally just makes my skin look so smooth after I use it. It's like, it's, it's a game changer. And then the last thing that I will do, which is the most important thing that you could do to start your morning is sunscreen. Now again, this is CeraVe's Hydrating Sunscreen 50 SPF, and it's a mineral sunscreen. It's safe for reefs, if that's important to you, which it should be. The only thing I will say about this is it does leave a little bit of a white cast um, at first. Like, I feel like you really have to massage it in. I honestly wouldn't recommend this for like darker skin tones because even on my face it kind of shows um if for some reason you were really interested in trying this one because i know sometimes there's just specific products you really want to try i feel like in my opinion you could always mix like a foundation with it if that's okay for your skin just to give it a little bit of a tint to it um but i really like it and i, I use it mainly because it's safe for the reefs you guys I just want to emphasize the importance of sunscreen I'm not trying to be your mom but at the same time I'm trying to be your mom first of all we all know we're gonna age fast as shit in the sunlight I know all my friends love tanning you better put sunscreen at the very least put sunscreen on your face that shit is gonna age so fast in the sun please do it and on top of that if you're struggling with acne you guys you guys if you have post acne scars, do you realize that when you go in the sun, how much worse they're gonna get? They're gonna just keep darkening and darkening in the sun because you're, you're tanning your scars. So I'm sorry, but you better put sunscreen on. Thank you. So the next part of this is going to be our nighttime routine. So first we're gonna go through just the nightly routine. I do this without fail. And then I'm gonna show you other products that are amazing, life-saving products but I don't use them every single day. Okay, so okay, so if I am wearing makeup, which I very, very, very rarely wear makeup, um, I will use the Physician's Formula Perfect Matcha to melt off my makeup. I don't like makeup removing wipes. I don't like, I, I don't, I don't like makeup removing wipes. That's basically the sum of it all. I don't like them. I think they're way too rough. I think you have to pull way too hard on your face and I don't think that they do anything for the skin. Use the simple micellar gel face wash. This is just a really simple cleanser. Um, it's gotten a lot of hype. It's, it's a simple cleanser and it does what it's supposed to. It cleanses the skin very well and it's cheap. Go in with a oil. This is a rosehip seed oil. It's this brand right here. Rosehip is really good at just hydrating the skin it feels so soft after I put it on and when I wake up the next morning I look like my skin looks really good so I will use this every night and then on top of it again I will use the CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion this is a pretty like lightweight moisturizer I would say it's like an 
in between. Like if you have combination skin, you could very much well get away with using this. Um, so then I'll put that on top. To end it, this is prescribed by a dermatologist. This is adapalene and benzoyl peroxide. So the main ingredient is, well, it has benzoyl peroxide in it and I literally love it. That stuff really, really saved my skin when I needed like serious, serious treatment. I'll still use it pretty much every night just to ensure that my pimples don't come back. Um, I've noticed that when I stop using it, my skin kind of freaks out a bit. Now I'm going to show you products that I'll supplement into my routine. So the first set of products are going to be exfoliating products. Exfoliating is literally my favorite thing ever, but I have to make sure, and you guys have to make sure that you're not overdoing it. You really want to learn how to pay attention to your skin. Read what your skin needs. You don't need to exfoliate every single day. You just don't. Um, and some days you might need a more gentle exfoliation, and some days you might need a more intense exfoliation. Really learn how to pay attention to your skin. It's hard, it takes a while, but if you try, you'll succeed. Favorite exfoliating products is the Ordinary AHA 30% and BHA 2% uh, solution. This is great. I, I love the Ordinary. I feel like I, any product I buy from them, I can trust that it's a great product. They're cheap and they're very effective. So if you don't have a lot of money to spend on skincare, but you wanna get into it, I think the Ordinary excuse me, is a great way to go. You guys have probably seen this all over TikTok. You drop a couple drops on your face, smooth it out, and leave it on for no longer than 10 minutes. Um, the first time I tried it, I actually did less than 10 minutes. I did like six or seven. And it literally feels so good after, and because it has AHA and BHA, it's still really hydrating. So this is really great for people who have dry skin and they need to exfoliate, but a lot of exfoliators will leave your skin really dry, especially if you're using like really harsh scrubs. You, and you won't find any of that here. Another exfoliating product is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. Again, BHA. This stuff is so hydrating. Like so hydrating, your skin will feel just amazing after it. Like you just, I don't even know. It's the best thing ever. Again, it's like a liquid solution. So you leave it on and you go to bed. And it's just such an amazing feeling. If I use this though, I don't use my benzoyl peroxide topical at the end of the night because it's too irritating for my skin. It's too much for my skin, but I absolutely love that. And sometimes I will use this CeraVe retinol serum. So it looks like this. Um, retinol is another one of those things that is really good for resurfacing the skin and turning over those skin cells so it's a great serum i use it by itself i won't use any other treatments with it like benzoyl peroxide or anything again it's too much for your skin and i've actually read online you want to be careful with serums that you layer on top of each other because a lot of serums actually the ingredients counteract each other so you're not going to see me putting on vitamin c and retinol and you're not going to see me putting on retinol and benzoyl peroxide no so just if you want to get into serums they're really fun just make sure to look up hey can i use this with this and you'll usually find your answer online i love it it's great and it's cerave so it's not too expensive at all especially for a retinol serum like i this is like 11 dollars. i seem like olay has one and i'm not sure how good the ingredients are and it's like it was like 30 dollars, and i was like Pfft. Girl, you better stop. You're looking messy right now. Another serum. This is the Urban Skin RX Even Tone Super Glow Serum. Um, so this is like a vitamin C serum. The vitamin C in here that is the ingredient is L ascorbic acid. It's 10%. So this stuff I will use. Now I have read that you can use this during the daytime if you're gonna apply sunscreen. Um, you could do that and see how your skin reacts. You could i haven't done it personally yet i went out in the sun all day and then came in and used it i don't have like a sunburn or anything and my skin was fine but i'm sure some people might react differently again you could always use this just at nighttime and i really like it the only thing i don't like about it is it doesn't have like a dropper or anything you just have to like dump it into your hand which i think is just like stupid like no thinking there 
last product that I sometimes use is, ooh, is the Murad Hydration AHA and BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. Now, I'll probably use that like every like, every like three days if I need a very light exfoliation and I can just use it quickly in the shower. Again, AHA and BHA is such a great way to exfoliate, you guys. They're always gonna be gentle and they're always gonna do a really great job at hydrating and exfoliating. Like, they're just great. I really do recommend looking into them. So, I know that a lot of people like to include their favorite face masks into like their skincare routine videos and in the skincare routine videos I've done in the past, I have included face masks. But, to be quite honest, I haven't really had the need for face masks lately. Um, in my opinion, if your skincare is on par, you don't really need face masks. Face masks are not something that you should rely on. They're usually just like something to like give a little boost to your skin, but I honestly just haven't felt the need to it. I haven't felt the need to hydrate. I haven't really had like pimples I need to dry out. So I know I'm very lucky in that sense. Um, and I wasn't just born with okay skin. I definitely, oh well, yeah, actually when I was born I didn't have pimples, but I have a video uploaded on my channel where I talk about all about my journey with acne and how it really affected me and why I'm so thankful to be where I am and why I love talking about skincare so much with people because I came from a place where I wasn't happy with my skin, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next Sunday.